right, guys. So, <clears throat> we just had some dinner, had some corn tortillas and some tomato basil soup, and just turned on the app right before I walk out the door. Got this order from McDonald's, seven and a half miles, six dollars and eighty-seven cents, which is not all that, but it gets us started for the evening, so let's see what tonight brings we'll see you here in a bit oh my gosh y'all there's no clouds and the wind is blowing and it is cold hopefully that's the yard over sitting up there We are here, and it is apartment 1118. I think it's right here. We've delivered here before. No, it's on the other side. I think I did this before, too. Yep. I think I would remember. Because we have an order to pick up at Abuelos and it says at 5.08 and it is 4.50 so we've got to get this dropped off yeah, here it is alright guys we got this one now we are about to I don't like Google Maps but I'll talk to you about it in a minute alright guys I know the sun's going to be an issue at the moment but so I got accepted on delivered out of Amor of out of Lubbock, Turn left. which is an hour and a half, hour and forty-five minutes south of here. But I always, you know, log in or I'm always logged in, and I just put my location when I check in. Well, guess what? We got a delivered catering offer for. Amarillo and it came in, in 1,000 feet this morning and I didn't look at the text message I just saw the um, it in the app but it didn't really it didn't say where it was it just said that there was this offer so um, I declined it and then they called me and asked about it and I was like no I can't but I was thinking it was for a Lubbock offer I didn't really know um, never had an you know I haven't ever done it really hasn't paid much attention to it um, <clears throat> So, I guess they don't have anybody in Amarillo. So, I'm on my way to drop off McDonald's and deliver calls and asks if I can do this uh, do this order. And so I'm like, yeah, I can do that. I said I have to drop off an order and I'll be there in less than 5 minutes to drop it off. 
and it's probably gonna take me 10 minutes to get to the restaurant to pick this up she said that's fine so then I had to go into the app accept the offer then I had to go back and hit go ahead and hit start Jeez Louise Dummy. so then I had to go hit go ahead and do start even though I was on my way to the other to the other drop-off so I got that dropped off as you saw and now I'm on my way to go get this delivered order so I don't know how big it is um yeah my I don't really have like big catering bags right now I need to order some from delivered because I really all I have is the bags that I have for um Grubhub and none, I mean we have one really big one one medium size and a small one so yeah we're gonna see how this goes so hopefully it will be ready when um, we get there so, you know they tell you not to be early not to be late so it says 508 um, pickup time and it shows that we'll be there at 505 so um, we shall we should be fine as long as there's no really bad traffic so once we get this picked up get it dropped off I will tell you how much we make this is gonna be crazy I'm not ever done one of these I've watched a lot of a lot of y'all do these but I've never done one myself so let's get this done and get this catering together so I don't know how this is gonna go. Y'all, the drop off hopefully. 45th Avenue. Alright, guys, so she finally right came 45th Avenue. out with right a Street. box. All it is is like a pan of um, chicken fajita meat and beef fajita meat. I hope that's all their order is because that's all she gave me. So, hopefully, they weren't supposed to get anything else because they spent a bunch of money on this. So, hopefully, that's all we were supposed to get. I don't know. I hate that. Because I really didn't, it, I didn't see where it told me, like, what the order was. So, I don't know. We'll see. And then on top of that, the address is, like, an empty lot. At the, I mean, if you look at it on Google. So, we'll see where it takes us. And we'll see you when we get there all right guys so we got that delivered it was like five miles about five minutes I don't know something crazy and it was forty dollars and ninety one cents so that was awesome so just what we needed so that starts our night out so great so I didn't take you in because it's I don't know I couldn't figure out if it was a business or a personal party or what but I think it's a business and we got in there gave him I guess it was enchiladas so there was four pans of enchiladas in there and of course and I was worried that they didn't have you know all of their stuff so 
and then he just took it from me and then he sat on the table i took my picture and i was out the door so hopefully we will get some grubhub offers here in a minute there's a hot spot right up the road so that's kind of exciting to get a delivered when i didn't sign up for delivered in amarillo i signed up for delivered in lubbock because that was the closest place and amarillo doesn't have a lot of the different apps so i'm on shift shipped um, in Lubbock and delivered in Lubbock so it worked out perfect so yeah I'm so excited but that was easy after I mean it only took them about probably less than 10 minutes to get the order out and once I told her that it was the catering order then it was all good from there so not a problem and we are just good to go and we'll see you when we get our next offer all right guys we got this offer on grubhub it is to wiener schnitzel 7.6 miles for eight dollars and 91 cents so let's go to wiener schnitzel and pick this up we'll see you there Uh -huh, for James. All right. Here are the four things. Here's that receipt. Oh no, wait, wait. All right. Thank you. Thank you. You too. All right, guys. go get it delivered i cannot believe these people that are inside the restaurant and their cars are sitting outside running That's stupid <laughs> good how are you <laughs> good. hey yeah, say hi, can Kelly. i pet you oh absolutely oh you're beautiful yeah <laughs> yeah oh, you want some food huh <laughs> i don't have any more food y'all yeah. <laughs> have a great night you thank you all right guys and we have another one i'll tell you about it in a minute Alright guys, so we got this one next. It is to Chipotle. It's not the best when it comes to mileage and offer, but who cares? It is 12.8 miles for $13.53. It's only $5.45. And we're already way ahead of the pack with that delivered offer. So we are just gonna take it it's going part way to Canaan it takes you just like a smidge out of the zone but what will happen typically is that by the time you drop it off and you're headed back you'll be getting another one anyway to go pick up somewhere so that's what we'll do so let's go to Chipotle Guys, we're gonna see if it's ready again. I'm gonna use the potty if it's not occupied. <laughs> Bob. All right, thank you.
Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> she needs to put the sticker on the other side of the bag so that it's actually sealed because she puts it on this side that <laughs> she that's not the fold over. All right, guys, let's go get it delivered. He's waiting for us. Hello. Hi there. How are you? I'm doing pretty well. Great. Thanks for coming out you on a cold bet. night. You have a great one. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see. We handed it to him. Very nice. All right, guys. Let's get back at it. We'll see you in a bit. All right, guys. We got this one on Uber Eats. It's $6.12 for two miles. So we are headed to Thai Taste and then to the delivery. So I will see you when we go deliver this Thai food because they're usually never ready. So we'll see you at the drop off. Oh, it's so cold. A lot of people must not know. But I also had a security or a maintenance person tell me which buildings and which order they went in when I first started doing this here. Whoa! Because they're, they tell you if you get lost to contact them or they tell you that RX Steakhouse is in the same building that they're in. It's doing its thing. Alright guys. I'm not going down the stairs today. Because I am cold. Oh man. Wow, we are doing so good today. I'm so excited. Alright guys, we'll see you at the next one. Alright guys, this is our next one. It is a Grubhub. 6.3 miles, $13.33 salt grass. So, let's go get it and I will see you at the drop off. It's also on Grubhub. It is Thai R1. It's 13 miles for $14.30. So I will see you at Thai R1. It's weird. There's like a lady sitting over there on the, corner, on the curb. 
it says it's ready, so hopefully it is. Uh, pick up for Brandy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you too. get this delivered probably will not record it. it just depends because I think this is my co-worker's house so we'll see hmm. hey guys so we made it home and it's 9 30 but I got home and I went and took a bath because I was very cold so Today was a crazy day. Very profitable for us. This afternoon, so when we went back in, when we went back out, um, we made $133.84, and $40.91 of that was from that one catering order. So we're out four and a half, no, four hours and 15 minutes. We made $31.49 an hour. That's crazy because we only made sixteen eighty two in the eight hours that we were out earlier in the day, but we made a total of one of two sixty eight forty two so definitely not bad at all, and we do have fifty dollars in change coming in on Spark for the tips that we did not collect. Because they have to wait 24 hours so we'll have those tomorrow and so I went ahead and came home earlier than normal on a Saturday just so that I can do some things I need to get done at home get a video uploaded get all the videos uploaded from tonight and try to do a project that needs to get done so or at least part of it so um, that's what I'm doing and then we will be out again early tomorrow and we'll probably only be out until 8 o'clock tomorrow. That is my plan is to be out till 8 so that I can get home, eat dinner with hubby and probably get another project started that needs to get done as well. So thanks for being here and if you made it this far, I'd love to see some money bags. So thanks a lot and we will see you tomorrow.